Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just this, there we go. So, it's Thursday, the 20th of May, and I am 50% vaccinated. I got uh, my first vaccine today, and I hate needles, but I still got it because I... Because this, um, the quicker we get vaccinated, the quicker COVID ends. So please, if you haven't been vaccinated, you can book a appointment today. But of course, um, it may depend on your country or places, like, where, it, whether you're allowed to get it or not. And if so, which one you can get. Um, but yeah, to celebrate that I've been vaccinated, I'm going to talk about the Walton episode, the Easter story, an Easter story, in which Olympia gets polio. This is actually the first time that a really terminal, I think, disease has come into the Walton house. Because they don't actually have that many pandemics. All the other TV shows I watch, except maybe Roach Avonlea, have some sort of epidemic or outbreak of some kind. Except Roach Avonlea and the Waltons. I don't know why they don't have that. But maybe, maybe that's a good thing they don't have it. But they do have people get sick, so Olivia does get polio. And um, those of you who don't know what polio is, it was a disease that came around in the during the Great Depression, the thirties. Like the polio epidemic was, I think, thirty three, which is when the first year of the Waltons is. And many people got it. Now, of course, polio is more pop is more well known in children, but some adults do get it. A very famous guy that had it was U.S. President um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And what polio does is, I think, it um, can paralyze your limbs sometimes temporarily, sometimes permanently. Some people are left with just one arm that has full use or they have to wear a brace on their leg for the rest of their life. Or they end up in a wheelchair like F like Franklin Roosevelt. Or they end up completely fine in the end. Um, like Olivia did in the Easter, in the Easter story. Um, and the polio vaccine did come out in the 60s, and I guess pe everyone's probably vaccinated with polio now. I guess I am apparently or something. I probably was vaccinated as a baby because I remember getting vaccinated with polio. Um, so I probably was vaccinated as a baby or something. That's when you get vaccinated, but I don't know. Um, so anyway, when she gets polio. She's the only one that gets polio because I don't think polio is one of those diseases that can be transmitted through like touch or anything. But I, again, I don't know. But she's the only person in the house that does get it because because polio is going around. I think she helps one that with that had contracted polio, that's why something. Um and at first the doctor just tells her like, okay, well you might never walk again, there's probably no chance on your legs. But then John Boy talks to this college professor who did have polio and John Boy learns that there is a different way that they can maybe try and heal polio and because Olivia if you've seen the Waltons you know that Olivia is always um positive and is always like never lying in the name she's like I'm sick but I can get better of course um when she finds that she can't really walk she's a little upset but then when John Boy tells us about this sister what I remember her name is sister that nun or whatever that was doing these treatments Olivia's like yeah let's try it and she actually does end up walking by the end of the episode and it's really nice it's a very, very, very well, it's a very, very good story for the Waltons. And it's nice to see someone besides just one of the kids or the grandparents getting sick in the Waltons. Because everyone gets sick at some point, especially during um, these times. I have not, I have not had COVID. I've had the flu, but I've not had COVID. My dad's had COVID, though. Um... So yeah, that's going to be much for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, head over to Grace Hall. There will be a new, instead of a cover, there will be a medley today coming up in a few minutes. We'll see. Yeah, but I, might, I might do a little bit later, but it is coming out today. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for a video that I need to come up with on the spot like I did this one but this one worked out <laughs> all right see you.